All right, guys, so what we have right here is my ACO power, that's A-C-O, and then power, foldable 200 watt solar panel. Now, I'm really getting into these foldable solar panels. I think they offer a lot of real advantages, and I really like this particular one. Right now, as you guys can see, I have it set up, tied into my Camper 8.0 here. Let's take a look at the solar monitor. So what I did is I created a dual system here. So we're gonna disconnect the roof system. And right now with a little bit of overcast, we're producing a little over 100 watts, which isn't too shabby. Let's take this in the garage and uh, take a look, closer look at this bad boy. All right, everybody, let's get out of the heat. So this is the, like I said, the Aco Power 200 watt foldable panel. This is the bag it comes in, which is really nice. All right, so it has some zippers up here. These just come all the way to the side. And then what happens is this panel comes right out of this bag. So this bag is essentially just a protective bag, which is pretty nice. Now, the back side of this bag, put those down, has a zipper compartment right here. So you open this up and it came with some accessories here. So it came with, let's pull these bad boys out here. So it comes with this right here, which I'll show you where this comes into play in a minute. And then it also comes with this inline fuse, heavy duty, sorry about that, heavy duty alligator clips and a heavy duty plug in there. Of course it has a user manual, some literature, Let's put this back. All right, so we can put this to the side. Let's bring up the panel. So two things that I really like about this panel. A, it's rigid, okay? So when you set this bad boy up, that really helps. I have another foldable panel, which I like also, but the panels themselves are a little bit flexible and it, uh, it's a little hard to set up. Number two is the weight. This thing weighs 17 pounds. You know, a little hefty, but compared to some other foldable panels I've uh, used, this is pretty light. Uh, the measurements are 21 and a half wide and 42.2 inches long. Let's go ahead and see how this sets up. Now this also is a, another interesting feature here though. Let's set this bad boy, see if we can set this up here on, on this bench. So it's got these little legs that extend on either side. Let's see if I make a mess of something here. So those, you extend those legs and then that helps you achieve a nice solid angle. Now I'm gonna twist this bad boy around. Most of you I'm sure are well aware that solar panels are most efficient at certain angles. Usually it's gonna vary depending on different circumstances, but usually 30 degrees is considered about ideal. Okay, so what you guys are seeing here is the back side of this panel. Uh, again, you saw how easy to set this up. I'm in kind of a precarious spot here on my workbench, but because it's rigid and these nice rigid stands, it makes it really easy to set up. Now, what another feature you don't see too often is this thing actually has a solar charge controller in it, a 20 amp solar charge controller. You can uh, do lithium on it also. I think this actually is on a little piece of Velcro. It hangs down like that. Now, as you guys saw, the one connection in here, this, this heavy duty one would be here, is, so basically with the solar charge controller, what this means is that you could hook this foldable panel directly in line with your battery without going through a solar charge controller. Now, I understand most people probably 
um, are do have a solar charge controller in line. So for those situations, you could just tie it, you could just put your MC4 connections right here and bypass the solar charge controller. But if you did want to use a solar charge controller, you would plug these in. Solar energy goes through your solar charge controller, and then you and then it has this heavy duty socket here that you could tie into your battery. That means that you could wire this dedicatedly into your battery on the other side, or you could tie in the alligator clip attachment, which I showed you earlier. Um, really, really neat feature. Um, again, most people probably have already have a solar charge controller in line, but it's nice that they include this. I can imagine scenarios where that could be useful, or if, for example, you're out in the road and your solar charge controller goes bad, you have kind of a sense of redundancy. So guys, the link will be in the description. Check it out. I actually really like this unit. And in terms of power production, it, it falls right within where I would expect it to. There's a link in the description. And if you're looking for a foldable panel, particularly one that gives you a little bit more higher end features, I think this is the one to go with. So thanks for watching guys.